What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to the most ridiculous thing you and I probably have ever seen in War Robots. I'm talking about the Rube Titan who already comes in with 2 million HP. I'm jumping into a complete all versus me, and I'm just gonna absolutely steamroll everything with this Titan. Take a look at this sequence here. Ladies and gentlemen, if this Titan comes into the game like this, then good night. Then seriously, good night. Look at this. Everyone just spawns immediately dying in front of me. Um, nobody has a chance. I can constantly heal myself, jump up if I wanted to, and it's too much for me. I could just escape because I want to. Pop, there goes the Spectre. There goes this guy. Dude, it is absolutely crazy. Even Titans are going to spawn in now and, uh, and will not stand a chance. Look, and this is a Titan with the sonic weapons as well. So he's got the powerful supersonic weapons, but I'm just turning around in a circle, showing him all my physical shields, basically not taking any damage from him, uh, because I have like one and a half to two million HP surrounding with the physical shields. And despite their maximum efforts, I'm still here. Look at this, now I'm flying above, hovering, shooting onto the Rook from above. Therefore, I don't have to worry about his physical shields. I completely bypassed it from above. Therefore, I was able to kill another Rook Titan very easily and quickly. Meanwhile, my team has also arrived here. Um, and there goes two more enemies. Easy. Living Legend. Palm Living Legend. How many kills that was in like, what, uh, 35 seconds or 40 seconds? I don't know. If It's absolutely unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, this thing is single-handedly <laughs> ruining this game. This Titan. If they implement it like that, I don't know if I even want to play this game anymore. Seriously, this is just beyond stupid. This is beyond broken and stupid. There is zero you. There's zero reason this uh, this Titan should perform like this. Should be able to have this much physical shield durability, this much healing power with its ability of restore. Then getting the shields back. If this was a one-time thing, you can pop your shields and you get all uh, that HP back. Even that would probably be powerful. But I could say, okay, I understand. But if their shields come back and you can do it again, it just makes no sense. The firepower is so high. The HP pool, why does this thing have so much HP? Why can it fly, jump on enemies and suppress them upon landing together with dealing damage? Why can it do all this? It's such a broken machine and it's just the very definition of what War Robots has become over the years. It, it, yeah, I mean, in a... I don't know. I'm still here. 31 versus 8. Um, if my enemy team was in my was uh, was if the enemy team was my team and I would fight the other guys, it would look the other way around. It would be 8 versus 33 now, because this thing is just there. Uh, there, this much endlessly broken that there is like there's no limit. There, this is just limitless. Look what we've just done. In what? How long was this match? Four minutes. It's a four minute long match. Share your feedback. You sure you want to have it, Pixonic? You're getting it right here. 9 million damage in 4 minutes on the test server. 4 minutes battle, 9 million damage, 17 kills. I don't think if I've ever done this before somewhere. I, I don't think I've ever done this before. Seriously. Uh, whatever. Let's hop into the next situation. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a serious problem. This is a serious problem for our War Robots game. If they bring it like this, game's over. It's game over for war robots. <laughs> it will be completely ridiculous. It will be this far stupid that um, there's no point to actually, you know, playing other, anything other than a Titan at this point. Uh, you may as well just equip a Smuta Razdor Kamola to a setup because they are known to fill up Titan meter very quickly. Uh, and just uh, uh, start that Titan meter, fill it up in one minute, and then just launch the Titan for the rest of the game. Seriously, this will be the game. Uh, because you it's a, you just can't kill Rook Titans. If it's too much for them, they can just jump away, right? I cannot even, to be honest, ladies and gentlemen, I cannot even begin to describe where the problem begins and where it ends. This Literally, this thing is just a problem from the beginning till the end. Everything is wrong about this Titan Pixonic. Everything. Its mobility is completely ridiculous. Why does it get to jump five, six hundred meters um, in and out of trouble? What the heck? It's completely ridiculous. It's a tank titan. As a tank titan, it should be slow, bulky, and if you get the wrong place, then you get killed. That's what a tank titan typically is. No, this guy gets to basically teleport 600 meters. And upon teleportation, you even suppress enemies as if this was needed. And then you have these physical shields 
that you can that re that, that block like two or three million damage if you turn around and let all of them get destroyed. You can use them to heal yourself almost completely or like half your titan. You can heal like a million HP in three seconds uh, if you pop all your physical shields and then you get them back, right? I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind if it was a one-time thing. You pop your shields, they're gone and you get a heal back and that's it. No more physical shields for you and no more future heal backs anymore. It would be more balanced. But the way it is here that you get the shields back and without any ramifications, you can just heal yourself Pop fresh back shields on and basically fight forever. I can't even begin to say how wrong this simply is from a gameplay, from a game design balancing standpoint. Here, the next thing, I can enjoy a full flight ability until the very end, the full 12 seconds of flying, kill enemies that I would otherwise probably not be able to kill because I have a high angle on them. And at the end of it, I can decide, do I want to jump on the enemy? suppress him on top of that deal extra damage uh, or do I want to jump back in my team like I did here because it was a little bit too much for me I can add this the amount of flexibility and this is just in every possible regard this is wrong it's just wrong this Titan is just completely wrong from the beginning till the end all of it is wrong why does it have more HP than a luchador? Despite being even more jumpy and even more... The, the, the fact that the luchador could jump so far was already really stupid if you ask me. But this thing is just driving... This is multiplying it by two times. And, and then on top it gets more HP than a luchador tank titan. It is despite having all those physical shields on top of it. And the healing. And the end, the end, the end, the end, the end, the end, this and this and this and this. It, it's... What the heck? Oh, man. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna say it right here, Pixonic. If this enters the game like this, um, if you don't make a drastic change, like, for example, these sh shields will not come back, then I don't see much of a future for War Robots at this point. This thing is one of those releases that will simply kill the game, even more than it already has been. Um, if this is the very definition of pay to... It, pay to win it's the, the if you type into google now definition pay to win google will probably tell you the rook titan in war robots and if it doesn't tell you this then it definitely should because i'm pretty sure pixonic isn't gonna hand out the free rook for every single player out there without uh, any other uh, you know shenanigans around it right so this is literally how you define pay to win if you want a definition <laughs> for any upcoming future in the game, what pay to win is. This would be the prime example to use. Do you really want to have that, Pixonic? Do you really want to be the prime example of pay to win in the mobile gaming industry? Because that is going to be it. Seriously. And guys, I know you guys, uh, you guys and girls enjoy uh, good mood videos. And I really love making good mood videos. But there is no way on earth I can have a constant stream of good mood with a setup that that ruins the games this this blatantly and obvious like this there's no way to keep a good a good mood spirit up when this happens i was just in a four on one i come out of it with 1.6 million hp and i just jump back in cover as if it was the easiest thing in the world this thing is completely idiot proof you can make mistakes and that this was a mistake I, I jumped into a 4 on one like this, it was way too much to handle right there. Titans spawning in from different angles. And uh, yeah, I got myself into a bad situation, I deserve to get killed for it. But this thing is so idiot proof, you can simply make mistakes on mistakes on mass, and you will come out victorious no matter what. Of course, unless the other guy has this thing too. Here, again, we're jumping into two Titans plus two robots. And both of them have their ability, or had their ability. The Minos is currently running his reflector. I wasn't even paying attention to the Minos reflector. I was just doing my old circle, uh, you know, circle turning. And letting them drop all my physical shields around myself, which means I take zero damage. Uh, and then, pop that fresh shields on. Now I have three million HP more back, or back around me. And there goes the... The Minos, because his reflector, unfortunately for him, doesn't last 50 seconds. Um, so now I see the Aether Titan is flying. That means in a few seconds I can kill him. I'm already flying up, jumping towards him. Uh, and now I kept enough ammo in my drum to drop him after his ability landing. And the Aether Titan was once and not long ago the most overpowered thing in the game. The Aether was 
also a definition of pay to win. Not as much as this one here though, but it was also a ridiculously overpowered machine and it actually kind of still is. But if you draw it in comparison to this Rook, it just le it, it just overshadows everything. So yeah, Pixonic, it's uh, it's up to you. It's really it's just up to you what you want to do with this game, where you want to straight ahead towards. Uh, it, it, at this point, just make a choice. Uh, we'll uh, we'll go with it as far as we want to, and then I don't know. Let's see. It depends on how you guys uh, operate. Uh, but I can't understand how, uh, or I can't imagine anybody at Pix HQ has an interest in, um, yeah, in driving this thing against the wall and basically ending this game. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but this is one of those, this is one of those, um, <laughs> extinction level events for war robots. This thing. This thing right here. But yeah. Who am I to say? I'm just a just some re some YouTuber dude, just some dude who makes videos about your game for a few years now, right? What do what do I know? <laughs> so yeah, this uh, video ends here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. Thanks for uh, the time to listen to me rant. Uh, but um, I'm hoping also you uh, see why I'm saying this, and um, there will be more good mood videos coming as well. I already made a few, uh, but. Um, this, these things just needed to be said. And I also know that you guys write this always in the comments that you appreciate when I say and speak my mind. And um, um, yeah, let's see what happens, right? Have a good one. Catch you in the next one. Manny signing off. Bye-bye.